right, welcome to another episode of the Dynamic Duo. As always, I am your host, Chopper Fett, and with me is my co-host and partner in crime, Fletch Dina. How's it going, Fletch? Very good, thanks. Hello, everyone. I'm Fletch, and we're here on, the sec- I think, episode three. Uh, and today, we have a very special guest, and we have Scouse Adventures joining us today. How are you, Scouse? <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for thanks for having me on the show. Really, uh, really appreciate you inviting me in. Thanks very much, uh, folks. If if you haven't yet uh, been or have known about Scouts Adventures, please uh, go ahead and check him out. We put in the cards above and the descriptions below. Uh, he has uh, a lot of videos out there on various topics, uh, and of course, a lot of his rides as well. Uh, but what you do, what would be good is if you could go out and check out his live streams as well. And one of the reasons is uh, I, we think so highly of him is because we appreciate. The effort that he's put into because in his live streams he's pushed out and helped a lot of growing channels uh, and we really really appreciate that scouts you know so what do you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourselves and a little bit about your uh your site and your channel yeah sure thing man so um i started motor vlogging probably i'm gonna say about two years ago um fully no about three years ago actually it was um and the reason I started getting into it is because I went to uh, to Deadwood in um, just outside Sturgis, um, and it was I took my parents down there, and for you know I'd I'd always liked bikes, I'd always had bikes in the UK and, and stuff like that. But when I came over here to Canada, I didn't have a bike at the time, um, and I took my dad to stay uh, to Deadwood because he was a mad uh, Wild West fan, and obviously Deadwood was where uh, Wild Bill was fraught with shot and killed and uh, Calamity Jane and. And just so happened that we, we timed it that it was at the end of the stages uh, motorcycle rally. And when we we didn't know at the time, when we got down, it was like, wow, there's a lot of bikes. There's loads of bikes here. And 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 speaking, of that, speaking of that, the, the show that you put on, I think, quote me for all the but I think that's where I actually met you for the first time was inside of that live stream. Um, I think up until that point, I had no idea who you were. And then you yep. subscribed to me, I subscribed back to you. And then after that, you know, we start hitting each other in live streams all the time. So yeah. not only are you responsible for channel growth, you're responsible for, you know, also making like new friendships for everyone else around, exactly. around the world. Because I mean, look at this exactly. live stream. You got America, you got Canada, you got Singapore. I mean, how yeah. awesome is that? The three international countries are together with one common interest. I, mean, I think that's exactly. the topic for today in a sense, uh, that it's going to be about the sportsters and things that we've done. And maybe, uh, Scouts, what do you tell us a little bit about what you've done with the sports, uh, sports day? What sort of sports day you have? Yeah, sure, man. So um, it's a 1999 uh, Evo engine. Um, started life out as, as a 883. Um, and the guy that I bought it off obviously spent an absolute fortune on it and, and doing problems. You know, well, okay. So what yeah. else have you done on your bike? Um, so when I first got it, uh, the, seat was, the seat was like sitting on a rock. It was awful absolutely awful so everywhere i went i was like an old man when i got off i was like oh my god this is killing me i can't do this anymore <laughs> so again i thought like over the winter i'll save some cash and I'll, I'll buy myself uh, a mustang seat because i had a mustang seat on the on a suzuki and it was by far that it was amazing it was so so comfortable um so yeah i bought the, the the solo mustang seat and man it makes such a difference it really does you know and it's 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 really comfortable it took a while to break in, but once it's broken, you know, it, it's great. Exactly. The great bikes. Girls' bikes. <laughs> yeah, girls' bikes. Yeah. Girls bikes. Actually, the video that I uh, filmed a few weeks ago is after I did the review. I was like, well, I'm going to take the sports out again. And so, you know, I started kind of thinking about you and your sports star. I was like, man, people who say this is a girl's bike are the people who've never ridden this bike. No. Because exactly. there's just something about the maneuverability of it, right? Because, yeah. yeah, Harley doesn't make a sports bike. Well, no. they kind of made the mules, whatever. Do you know what, mate? I did have a plan to go down to the Bay Tooth Pass this year, but obviously with this, you know, the dreaded sea wave going on at the minute, then no. But I, I, I have spent like eight hours in, in the saddle on, on the bike, you know, so it, I just constantly go and obviously stop them for fuel and stuff. But yeah, it's funny you say that, because when I, when I got rid of the Boulevard, which was a, a touring bike, my missus said to me, why are you buying that? You'll never, ever be able to go anywhere on that, apart from round town. I was like, you're, you're, you're so wrong. You're so wrong. You know, and I will literally go through pain to sit on that for as far as I can, you know, because I love riding it and it is pretty comfortable. It does get a bit uh, after a while, but, you know, it it is what it is. And 
I, everyone said, do you want to get some bags for it? And I was like, well, no, not really, because if I want a bag, I'll just stick it to the sissy bar, put some bungees on it, and away we go, you know, like old school. So, yeah. but yeah, I'll definitely, regardless of how far, I'll, I'll ride to stages on that, I don't care. I'll do a three and a half thousand game road trip on it. Doesn't bother me. It probably will do at the other end. <laughs> right, folks, looks like uh, we've uh, hit the end of our show. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Scouts Adventures for joining us today. Thank you very much. So once again, folks, thank you very much. I'm Fletch. And I'm Chopper Fred. And as always, I'll catch you on the next Dark Side. And this is the way. Thank Appreciate you, Scout. Thanks for joining us, man. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. See you. Thanks, Thanks